Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season. Week 7 is underway on EA Sports. And this taken in at the goal line. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. So out comes the Washington offense onto the field. They'll be led out by one of the most productive QBs in the last decade. It's year 10 for the Fresno Stater now. Here's Derek Carr. It's been fun to watch his development through the years. And right now what you see is a very confident quarterback who has a strong sense of self, totally understands the offense, and knows how to get the ball to his playmakers on the run. And he's got Rome. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Here's Carr. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Gibson here running out of the gun. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. Here's Carr to throw. And that is incomplete. Yeah, their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. Now we've got a giant player here slow to get up after that last play. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Into the red zone, it's Carr. And he slings one that's incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Second down and a run by Robinson. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Throwing now is Carr. Here's a screen for Robinson. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Yeah, and on third down, you know those pass rushers, they're in the starter's block. They're just waiting for the pistol to fire. You can almost hear the defensive coaches on the sideline pre-snap. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Really good job there of identifying it and making the play the first fourth down. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. Didn't quite get the touchdown, but now they're really knocking on the door. And if you're the play caller, now you're thinking to yourself, what is your sequence? Because you're not just thinking one play here just in case. You're looking ahead as well. I wonder if he's just thinking three power plays at max to get the ball in the end zone. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They well, certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Card out of throw. And this is going to be intercepted. It's Deontay Banks with it. And the Giants are going to get the football here as they force the INT on the game's opening drive. Well, it's no secret he's had trouble this year with interceptions, and this is a bad start for him. First drive, throwing another pick. No matter who's broadcasting his game, that's how the conversation begins. Throwing too many interceptions. Can he take care of the football? If I were his backup, I'd be edging towards the coaches and saying, hey, how about giving me an opportunity? It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Now Jones. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. It's a big-time play there for the G-Men. 46 yards. It may look routine when you see the finished product, but what a nice job of concentration there. Catching the football on that route and then taking it a nice distance. A great example for an offensive. Rush coming, and he's taken down. 
The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. You talk about this Washington defense. Well, they played extremely well last week in the win over Atlanta. And I'm eager to see the game plan and trying to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through interceptions, do you now decide that I can't throw the ball against this team and try to run it like crazy? Or do you challenge them? This is going to be fun. Tight defense there on third down, but what a product of good coaching and even better execution because he realized he's in field goal range, no sense forcing anything, and he made sure he didn't. So a pretty good opening drive. That'll make the home fans somewhat happy. They wanted six, but they got three in the early lead. And they should be happy. The guys look good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope. The good things are in store here today for him. After the made field goal back out is Nick Folk to kick this one off. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. He might take this all the way. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Commanders. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him. Kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. This taken in right around the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've you described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going Why for six. Why shift the crew? Throwing Jones. His throw incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. On second down, here's Barkley. And yeah, they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Now, this defense for the Commanders, they played extremely well last week in the win over Atlanta. And I'm eager to see the game plan and try to attack them this week because... When you take it away four times through interceptions, what do you do now when you go into a game? Do you decide you can't throw the ball? Do you try and run it more? Or do you tell your quarterback, make sure you see your guys open before you deliver? On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. Set to go again. Here's Brian Robinson in the commander offense. Last week, a strong showing up over 100. Also, two trips to the end zone. It's the kind of week that if you said, listen, I'll let you have this type of a game each and every week, you'd sign up for it. You wouldn't try and get too greedy. But let's face it, good runners always want to be a little bit more greedy at the end, try and squeeze out every last yard. He's going to try and duplicate that and exceed it in this game. Robinson up the middle. And he'll get about three here up to the 44-yard line. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. And Washington with a football here to begin quarter number two. As they've got it with a third down and less than a yard. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Car now on first down. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Bobby Okereke. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. So a dangerous.
dangerous pass over the middle into zone coverage, and it bit him hard. And what's really difficult when you throw it in that direction and versus that zone, that means the linebackers have gotten to their spot, gotten their heads back around, and they can see the quarterback and everything in front of them. And they took big advantage of it, went in the other direction, excellent blocking, and picked up a touchdown. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. And the Washington offense going back to work. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like Watch that. Out. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. They start on the ground with Robinson here. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 58 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. On first and 10, it's Gibson. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. 13 yards there and a Washington first. Shotgun now for Carr. And his throw is going to be incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Now Carr. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And that's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Second and a couple. Again, it's Robinson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they can let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. From the gun now on third down, Carr looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Robinson. And yeah, he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tackles. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Back to Robinson now on first down. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Defense doing their job, really nowhere to run the football. Yeah, it's almost textbook, wasn't it? Every place he tried to find an open spot, there just wasn't one. Congrats to the defense, no gain. Call fitting your gaps, right? I love it. You're exactly right. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. 
ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. They'll run for it with Robinson. And boy, this is going to be close. That mark looks a little short, and he didn't get there. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And it'll be a turnover on downs. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow here on goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Here we go, hey. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. They only needed one yard on third down. They get 10 instead by going to the air. Now Jones going to change it up here. Jones now on first down. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. Uh, hang on a second here because on that last play, it appears one well, the Giants shaken up. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Throwing again on second down. Jones, he finds him again. Saquon Barkley. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Third down and six. They'll look to throw again. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That goes for a gain of 31. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now they'll audible to something else. Back to throw again. And the screen unsuccessfully dropped it. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. Second and ten. Gold, goldfish. Gold, goldfish. Goldfish. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Again, he'll drop to throw. And Waller taking it in over the middle. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And Jones will hit the deck here, and he is able to pick up the first down. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Jones, out route pass complete to Bellinger. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll bring up second down. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender, but the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Four yards remain on second down, ball on the 10. Operating from the gun, Jones. That's to the pylon and incomplete. Absolutely nowhere to go with the football. And he's just going to put this one in the Hudson River. Maybe he's a little fortunate he didn't get called for grounding because that one was well over everyone's head. From the gun on third down, Jones. Told the pylon, but it's incomplete. The commander's defense holds, and that'll bring up fourth down. And that drive was going pretty darn well. Three previous times converted on third down, but on that one, the defense rose up and said, enough of that. 
Folk's kick is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So we have reached halftime in what's a six-point game at the break. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. A lot to get to here as some of the division races starting to take shape. As we look around. Message received here. No need to wait. We're going to skip halftime and get right back to the action. Here comes the third quarter. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. Second half ready to get rolling. The Giants with a lead, and they are set to receive this kick. Taking it about the one. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. So now the Giants set to take over on offense. They're trying to get back on track following the loss to Buffalo a week ago. But the good news, they've got the lead right now here in the football first and ten. Detroit, Detroit, Detroit. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time, forces some indecision in the backfield, and he's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Giants first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. Up the middle with Barkley. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. And the defense on him quickly there as they stop him at the 40 okay, for a gain of just two. They'll come up now third and three. Back to throw. Jones. Catch made here by Campbell. Call it a loss of two there on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. Call that a 46-yard punt with a net of 40 on the six-yard return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Now a handoff to start it out. Robinson. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. On second down, another shot for Robinson. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside, but they can really shred your defense. That's out to the flat for Gibson. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Well, it wasn't a big strike, but that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here. You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. And he is going to have a Washington first down. They didn't get a lot, but they do convert on fourth. They only needed a few inches, but still some anxious moments there. But they do convert on fourth from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Now Carr. Got this complete to Jahan Dotson. 
And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A gain of 14, first down, Commanders. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. 84 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. Touchdown, Washington. Brian Robinson, Jr., with now 15 rushing touchdowns on the year. And the Commanders are an extra point away from taking the lead. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And that will put them on top here in the third. Washington kick team back out there now as they will send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Giants offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. They'll start with the option. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Looking to throw. Jones. Dancing to his left. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. He's been making himself a weapon as a runner, and the results, they've been welcomed by his offense. My question is about the defense we're watching right now, partner. Even after he got him with a scramble earlier in this drive, they still are devoting enough attention to him. I would expect that after that carry, they'll do a much better job going forward, spying on him on passing downs. Here we go. Final minute now of the third quarter. Go River! Go River! Running again with Barkley on second down. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half, to about the 39. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space go. for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he's on to punt for New York. Thirty-five yards that time on the punt. And the Washington offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and ten. Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. And we've got a dandy here. A one-point game as we begin the fourth. On second down, another shot for Robinson. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Car going to throw. That's out wide here for Robinson. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back. You're down late. Top. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or take away. Otherwise, this will probably get away from them. 
Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing his car on third down. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Here's Cressway now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here is away. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. Good starting field position for the New York Giants here as they come up first and 10 at their 38. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. That ball caught by Slayton. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So the ball moves from 138 to the other as they come up on first and 10. Barkley inside handoff. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. And that was a... A new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second down. Here's Barkley again. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. A first throw here for the backup, Taylor. And he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. And the defense coming through on third down, a loss of seven to bring up fourth. Well, for last week's performance, which was so good, he was named NFC Defensive Player of the Week. He got a lot of praise, and understandably so, from national media. Looking pretty good on that play, too. And I love what he told us this week before the game. He talked about how much time they spend working on pass rush moves every position because anyone could go after the quarterback in their defense, and you can see how they've all absorbed their lessons. in a row but only two yards to show for it now the objective there i mean yes the positive gain that's nice but work some clock yeah you're exactly right but the problem for them is still within a possession so they can't just sit on it running the ball and look at this they get the turnover they need it it's intercepted picked off by xavier mckinney and this return is going to be halted right around the 28 yard line Now Jones to Barkley on the check down. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. First down for the Giants as they pick up 12. Here's a give to Barkley. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Cody Barton there to bring him down. And that's called winning at the point of attack, isn't it? Right there at the line of scrimmage. I know he's a little bummed out now. He doesn't get credit for a tackle for a loss, but no gain. These guys will take that. And 
Speaking of winning, to be as cheesy as we can, he was the winner of the NFC Defensive Player of the Week award from last week, so he's really stringing together some good football. So not only did he get a gold star, he might have gotten a gold watch too, huh? Throwing Jones. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. The folks' kick is good. And they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. So Derek Carr in the offense. Down 16-14, 2.05 to go. They've won three in a row, but they've got work to do if they want to get a fourth in a row as they come up on first down. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he's got a first down following a pickup of about 13 as we will take a pause here for the two-minute warning. So it's Commander's football as we get back to it. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Throwing on first down is Carr. This is Robinson. Not in a position where they absolutely have to rush right now, but they definitely have to pick up the tempo a bit. Second down, eight yards to go. A give up the middle to Gibson. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Short gain, short gain, last two plays. Who do you think's excited about that? Absolutely, this defense. They're saying go right ahead with Oates. Well, the crowd here at MetLife Stadium in full roar. Third down. Now Carr. That's caught by Pitts. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Okay, there's three timeouts left, right? I think you got to use one here, don't no you? No doubt about it. I'd use one right here. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and ten now. Straight ahead, Gibson. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. Here's first and ten. Robinson on a give right side. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here's Carr. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. two-yard gain is just not going to cut it in this situation. You've got to move the ball downfield in order to have a chance. Defense will give them that the rest of the way. Big play looming here. This is third and seven with a crowd on their feet. And we've got a timeout. Nine seconds remaining. And the crowd a major factor now. Here's third down. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. Now here's a timeout, as they will indeed call it with five seconds to go and a chance with a field goal to win the game. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break.
They'll try and run for it. And the surge is going to be too much defensively. He's hit and taken down to the backfield. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. Down to a knee goes Jones, and that should just about seal it. Charles, in these lower scoring games, you know it better than anybody. Yeah, points are at such a premium, but taking care of the football is king. They played turnover free from whistle to whistle, and they come through with a victory. Yeah, and that's what won them the game, because even doing it that way, being that clean partner, they weren't able to really run away with this game. So that tells us just how important it was to make sure you played mistake-free football. That led to the victory. So for the Giants, they fall.